tour, demanding a formal apology from the monarchy over its historical links to the transatlantic slave trade, which saw hundreds of thousands of enslaved people from Africa forced to work on Jamaican plantations. Scholar and advocate Rosalie Hamilton says reparations should also be paid. The wealth that has been built was built on the backs of the blood, sweat and tears of our foreparents. And I think that reality is beginning to hit home because that's not the history we were taught. Compensation takes many forms. There's institutional compensation that's on the table. There's debt for the forgiveness. So it's not simply about cash payment. It's about a process of healing. Speaking in Jamaica earlier this year, Prince William expressed what he described as profound sorrow over slavery, echoing comments made by his father, the now King Charles III, when he told the ceremony marking the shift to a republic in Barbados that slavery, quote, forever stains our history. Jamaican advocates hope it's a sign of a different approach from a new monarch. And that report was from the ABC's Jade McMillan in Kingston. We're almost out of time. Just a reminder that the Late News team will keep you updated throughout the night. So if you missed anything from the program, you can find Checkpoint on Spotify, Apple, or wherever you get your podcast from. And tomorrow from 5 a.m., first up has reaction to the scrapping of the COVID traffic light system. And they ask National's Deputy Leader Nicola Willis, where, oh, where is the report on Sam Uffendale's behaviour. I'd be tuning in to hear the answer to that one. Kaua e wari wari te ata te ro e a mata ko e ro heaps of stories and our video versions of stories online. Check them out. RNZ News headlines at 6.30. Epidemiologist Rod Jackson says the decision to scrap the COVID-19 protection framework is reasonable, but masks should be required on public transport. Mask mandates end at midnight tonight, apart from health and aged care settings, and incoming travellers and air crew no longer have to be vaccinated. All other government vaccine mandates will end in two weeks. The Prime Minister says the public...